Alright boys, so uh, yeah, I don't even want to record this video, it is depressing to the max, but I have breaking news for you guys, you've seen the title, Endeavor has been nerfed. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. So as you've seen in that last meme that I just put in, that's probably how I'm going to title this video, I have no idea how I'm going to title this dude, we've been flat out deceived fam, I don't even know what happened, but it happened. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined and yes that's the last meme as well uh yeah I've, dude this is disappointing so here today we have a lot to talk about first of all leave a like subscribe notifications on because that helps out a ton on this video we're gonna go for a smaller like goal because i'm depressed and this is bs we're gonna go for 600 likes let's see if we can crack it <laughs> Now again, I need to preface this in every video because sometimes people take the wrong things that I say. I'm not complaining, but I'm telling you how I feel about this. It's my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, just let me know in the comments, okay? We all have our own opinions here. I'm going to give you mine, and I really think that most people will generally agree with this. First of all, Endeavor has dropped. If you guys check the news, notice over here, he's here, whatever, whatever. But if you read this entire damn thing, it doesn't specify that the man was nerfed, okay? If you're going to go and change it from the core game of CN, right? You, you have to at least say it, that's like, you know, somewhere, that he was nerfed. No one knew he was nerfed until they actually got their hands on the unit, and they went and, you know, tested him in PV, PvE, PvP, whatever, and they found out he was nerfed. Fine, maybe you can go over here, check his skill overview, but be honest with me. Most of the people playing this game just want to go and enjoy with the character. They're, they were so hyped up, they went straight. Like, no one even touched any of those tabs. The first thing everyone, every soul on EU did already, is they went over here, they clicked Endeavor, and they started summoning. That's what I would have done. I'm, a, Dude, I'm literally so hyped that this happened, that this entire event dropped. And now, after seeing what I saw, it is depressing. Now, you might be asking, Gogo, -Go, how, uh, how did Endeavor get nerfed? What, what happened? What, what was, what's the problem with him? His healing was... Pro I'm going to say it right now. His healing was removed, fam. There, there is no healing. But on, like, the... Uh, what is it? CN version, the Taiwan version, whatever you want to call that version. He has, like, 9% healing or something like that, right? He has a, a massive healing, right? When you use the spear, when you go into that over, uh, what is it, when you start, you know, burning up, whatever, whatever, you use a spear, you start losing HP when you attack or when you get around the spear, whatever, whatever, he gains HP back. It is one of the best things ever. That is why we called him the PVE God. But, bro, what happened? Why did they change the character? Again, I still don't understand what they plan. I did the tutorial to, like, check. Maybe I was on something. I'm like, dude, it is currently uh, 4 a.m., right? Uh, I checked it at exactly, what is it, when it dropped at 11, it dropped at 11 for me, so which was, again, scary, I was like, wait a second, it dropped early, I actually started checking out, like, people talking about it, right, and they were saying, he's nerfed at 1am, and I'm like, wait a second, you're kidding me, and I sat here waiting, thinking EU was about to drop a statement, they were about to say something, they are about to save me, and I don't have to, like, you know, talk about this in a video, I don't need to, you know, whatever, whatever, and nothing, 4am, it's 4.30 right now by the time I'm recording this, by the time I edit it, I'll get it out at, like, 5, okay, however it goes, but yes, what is that, like, logic of nerfing him? I don't understand it. You can have your own thing, but I, I really don't see a way to defend the game or defend the devs. It honestly feels like they just they just wanted to do it, right? If we go into the tutorial, we'll listen to All Might over here. I just, I don't understand what the point of doing this was. I was so hyped for the unit. And again, you can change the core game from Taiwan. That's fine. I'm okay with that. They changed the hero coin amounts. They changed so many things. But why would you change the character? And then not tell, like, they have to have a dev notes. They have to have some sort of way to communicate it to the audience, knowing, yes, the character isn't what you've seen on the other version. The other version exists. You have to acknowledge it because most of the people that, first of all, you know, left that version came here because of dubbing, because of the English thing, because of everything you know, regarding this. So maybe they joined because of that. And most of them summoned already and didn't know what happened, right? It's like, <laughs> excuse me, what? But yeah, when you guys throw this, right, over here, that's the healing. On the other version of the game, the healing is so much more, so much more. So here we go. After the tutorial ends, let me see. I have to go over here. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll show you what it is. You guys lose HP when you have the spear. When you guys are burning up, you practically lose HP, right? Let me go burn up real quick. I think I go and just keep attacking, right? And then at some point, I will burn up, yeah? Okay, there we go. I'm losing HP, okay? I'm losing HP, losing HP, losing HP. I'm going to continue to lose HP. Then I'm going to show you what the healing looks like. So again... The reason you go to the, you know, the lance or whatever the, the, what is it, the stance where you have the spear and all of that, it's because, you know, you're overheating, you get more damage, all of that happens, but you lose HP. That is what the entire con with that is, right? That is the kickback. That's what happens. But now, what was the thing that fixed this? It's because when you threw the spear, when you used the spear, whatever, you were able to gain back HP. That was the point of this character. That is why I called him a tank. He just keeps on healing, regenerating, whatever. And that is why he is, the, you know, the PvE king, whatever you want to say. I said whatever so many times, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's 4 a.m. I'm tired. I'm sorry. So there you go. I'm down at that HP, right? Let me throw the spear and let me show you what the healing looks like. 
Yeah, first of all, he didn't even heal, which again, I saw that he healed on that part, but okay, he didn't heal there. Let's quickly, let's quickly stock up. Let's quickly stock up. There, there's the healing. That's, that was it. <laughs> that was, there we go, more healing. But if you looked at the CN version, the healing is like insane. That's it, yeah. So again, it might seem a lot to you right now, but if this was the CN version, imagine four times that. Yeah, imagine a little bit more than four times, right? Imagine four times that. You would have gotten, what, 200,000? I think it was, I think they said 50,000, right? So you would have gotten 200,000, you know, HP gained. Why was it nerfed? I'm so lost at it. Yes, he still does the same damage, apparently. But again, they made it, apparently. Again, this is what Reddit said, right? I'm listening to Reddit on this one because it was very, it was like everyone talked about it this way. So again, this one could be wrong, this fact. But it looks like the way they did it, or the way they're doing it now, is that you have to go and summon on his card, right? If you go to the Recruit Banner, you go over to the Limited, and this, this is what you need. One of these cards increases his damage dealt, or is this it? Yeah, increases the Lance attacks cause additional true damage. One of these cards you need now, apparently, to make him actually what he basically is on CN. I don't even know why this is done. I, there is no reason. There is no, like, justified reason to nerf him. Given, like, the reason he dropped, right? He dropped so early, everybody was like, wait a second, why? But we were all we were all okay with it, right? We were all like, it's fine. Why? Because we're going to have the character that will destroy PvE. Most of us needed this because, you know, there's things that are, you know, hard, right? We have joint operation. I mean, no, that's not hard. Agency assessment. When you guys get higher and higher in that, you're going to need someone that can carry. Once you get higher in the story, you're going to need someone that can carry. There are so many different things in the game that you might need that character. He's going to help with Night Ops. He's going to help with so many different things. And that is why we hyped him up. And I told you last video to go and summon for him. Now I just feel like, whoa, I literally told people this. And then they went and nerfed it without actually making a statement. Like, if they made a statement on their Twitter, if they made a statement in-game when you logged in, I wouldn't have had to make this video, right? I wouldn't have to say, dude, they nerfed him because you're learning it from me. <laughs> Out of all people, you should learn it from the devs themselves that they nerfed it. But EU has already summoned, right? So I made this video at this time for the reason of NA. I am trying my best to save you, and I'm hoping before the reset happens, before people on NA go and summon, please hold back on summoning. Do not, do not touch this banner until we at least get a, like, you know, a message from the devs. And, you know, whatever. Is he still a viable unit? Maybe. I will say maybe. I'm not going to even give you a yes or no. I really don't think so, man. I really say just hold your hero queens, wait till the final week of the banner, then take a look at it. Right now, though, it's not looking too promising. I will say it that, you know, All Might seemed better. I, in my fullest opinion, I feel that All Might will do more damage in PvE than this, than this man will, right? This man was created for PvE, but All Might does better. That's how I stand, and that's what my opinion is right now. Again, you can go and argue with me in the comments. You can go say I'm wrong or whatever, but I honestly feel like this entire nerf kind of, it kind of damaged the character, and it ruined my hype for summoning for it. I really wanted to summon for Endeavor. I would say most whales and dolphins are fine with summoning for this. Go for it. But if you are free to play, there really, there really is no reason, right? There, until maybe he gets a buff again, which I don't think he will. There is no way they're going to buff him uh, or change it. It's probably this was meant to happen, right? Apparently, also, when it came to, uh, what is it, Aizawa? They changed his thing, too, right? They changed Aizawa's, like, main skill. One of the skills Aizawa had, they changed it, too. I don't know if I can click on a character here. But yeah, Aizawa had a similar thing. I don't know what it was exactly. I clicked on it. It doesn't actually show me anything. But yeah, that's really been it. That's my quick vent. Do not summon for Endeavor yet. Just save. Save up right now. I want to see if, uh, what is it, NA says anything. We currently have no response from them. EU hasn't said anything about the nerf. They just did it and secretly let it go, right? So we'll see how it goes. I am now hopefully able to bring this to you at a good time to at least stop you and save you from, you know, spending your hero coins in a stupid way. Forgive me for earlier saying that you should summon for him, but blame the devs, bro. There is no reason to nerf it and then not state it in the entire opening of the game. Like right here, you should be able to log in and say changes were made to the character. Not even a nerf. Don't even specify that. Just say characters' uh, abilities have changed. Please check them out or something like that, right? But yeah, so with that being said, he's been nerfed. Keep it in mind. Go check out what he looks like on CN, then come back here. It's a big difference, bro. It's like 9% at 2% healing. It's 2% now, okay? So it's practically cut down by so much. There are so many different things that, like, you know, harm this now. You need that. You need that healing. That is why I called him the best character ever. His healing right now is, do is dog water, fam. It's literally dog water in comparison to what it was over there. Maybe you can go and justify it being he was too broken. They nerfed him. I don't really see that. Again, you have to at least specify it. And there was no point in nerf him. I still felt like he was fine. That was the reason. He's PvE oriented. He is not destroying PvP. He's not guaranteeing you hero coins like Aizawa is, right? Aizawa goes and, you know, if you go against Arena, anybody in Arena, you're destroying everybody in Arena, right? That's how Aizawa is built. So it's guaranteeing you more and more hero coins. 
what is he kind of guaranteeing you, right? PvE doesn't give you much hero coins in comparison to PvP. So really, I don't know what happened. Thank you again for listening to my quick 10-minute talk here. I don't know how long I'll cut this down to, but yeah, thank you. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm really sorry, again, if I got this out to you late, but I'm trying to help my uh, help out as many people as possible. Again, thank you for watching. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.